Hey everyone, a few months ago I was working on encoded storage again when I was interrupted by Inventor PWB from the Mechanist server. Definitely check out his YouTube channel in the description. He needed a design for a vending machine for his theme park, but I couldn't find one that met our needs online. There were actually plenty of designs available, but they didn't fit the specifications we had in mind. Inventor PWB came up with a prototype, but it had a flaw. If I clicked multiple note blocks at the same time, it would dispense more items than I paid for. To fix this issue, we needed to lock the inputs between requests, but with this design, it was impossible to do so because requests could be sent consecutively with no delay. Even making the lock instant wouldn't solve the problem. So I came up with a new solution, an encoded design. This design uses redstone signal strings to encode the user's selection and transmit it on a single redstone wire. At the storage location, a device called a red coder decodes the signal and dispenses the corresponding item. By transmitting requests on one line, it's not possible for multiple selections to be made simultaneously. This ensures that the vending machine can't be scammed and users can only get the items that they have paid for. The final design is super thin with a width of only four blocks. It's tileable so you can stack machines next to each other without wasting space. The machine is easy to restock and has a large storage capacity. You can even use shulker unloaders for even more storage, so you can stock it once and leave it for months. The number of items dispensed with each token is also customizable. You just need to adjust the number of items in this 4N hopper clock, and it will output four times the amount of items in the clock. To use this machine, simply put a token, I've set it to diamonds for now, into the barrel. Then, select the item you want by clicking on the appropriate note block. The machine will rapidly output your items into the barrel at two times hopper speed. If you want to build this, or really anything, in your survival world, I highly suggest using a schematic mod like Lightmatica, which works better than any online tutorial. Because it is client-side only, you just need to install it on your client, and it does not change any game mechanics on the server. First, choose the design you want to build. Here, I've provided six variants of the vending machine. First two here will output multiple items for three of the four products and will only output one for the last. This is useful if you want to sell precious unstackable items like totems alongside other consumables. The next two will output multiple items for all four products and the last two will output single items for all products. Later on, you can also decide to add these four wide tileable shulker box unloaders as shown here for more storage capacity. Once you have decided, select the device with the Lightmatica area tool and save it as a schematic. In the area you want to build, load and place the schematic as desired. After you finish building the machine, you now need to set up its inventories. I've placed signs indicating how to do them, and they should be visible on the schematics to help you. First, place the needed amount of items in this barrel. Next, briefly power the red coder at the dust closest to the piston. Then. Place one item in each top dropper of the red coder. Place items in the output ratio clock using the formula 4n. Here I put 4 items for output amounts of 16. Finally, set up the token filter with 22 token items. Make sure it occupies every slot. Only that item will be accepted as payment. That's all I have for you today, thank you for watching, and goodbye.